Hi, welcome back to John's Random Reviews. Have a guess where we are. We're not at B&Q, we're not at home base. We are at Lowe's, the American version of home base or whatever. So I'm dead excited. I hope you're dead excited. We're gonna go in. Okay, we're at the self tap a bit. Look at this, come on. So watch this drawer. Now I know these aren't self tappers, these are M10 bolts. But nevertheless, watch this. Watch this. I thought you said it was a soft close. Oh, that one is, that one's, that one's broken. I'll have a word with the management. Ooh, this is a good start. A little Bosch stall. It's all a bit dusty, so I'm not sure how much of these um, tools get handled. But check out this little torch. Quite like it, actually. Folds up like that. Yeah. It's quite a small footprint. We've got not a bad... I'm not sure this is the top range um, Bosch stuff, but yeah, yeah. <clears throat> got a few drill drivers there. Recip saw, one-handed. We know we like that one. So, yeah. Not bad. Okay, we don't have these in the UK. This is the craft called Craftman. A range of battery tools. I don't know whether, to be honest with you, I don't know whether they're below Ryobi or above Ryobi. I think this is not sort of like a semi-budget brand. I don't know who makes them, but tell you what, they don't look too bad. They look all right. They have kind of like two of each thing. Obviously, must have different prices, Pro and something. Or maybe one of them's M12, I don't know. Um, never seen this range of tools before, but nevertheless, they look pretty good. Now then, this is a treat. Um, I've never seen flex tools before. I've seen all the American um, YouTube tool testers putting these through the paces. They don't sell these in the UK. I don't know if they ever will. I actually, tell you what, tell you what, come here. Tell you what, come here. I sent an email to the company saying, send me some and then I'll give them a good testing. And then they probably looked, saw my channel and thought, no chance. Anyway, let's have a look at this one. Not a bad little tool. I don't know if this is the top of the range one. Not mad keen on this um, ring selector. Nice metal chuck. Nice stubby sort of, um, I think this is just a, a, yeah, it's not a hammer drill. I tell you what though, I tell you what, I tell you what, I'm not mad keen on that rubber rover moulding at all. Flex, come on. It seems, um, yeah. The, the rubber over moulding is is greasy and and just I think it's too hard. The rubber over moulding, I think, is too hard. Don't don't like it. So anyway, there we go. We'll have a pan. We'll see what else we've got. We've got two um, recip saws there. That's similar to the one um, the new Makita one. And then we've got an S. Not a bad size SDS. A very small angle grinder. Anyway, then we've got a little router. A little screwdriver gun, sander, plasterboard cutter, light, radio. What the hell is this? Vacuum. Well, quite like that actually. Ooh. 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 Quite like this. Anyway, come on. Continue. Wow. D Wall has got two sides of the aisle. The bloody hell, these must be popular. The yellow peril. I'm not happy, and I'll tell you why in a minute. A few skill tools on the end of the aisles. Don't know why, I quite like these. Don't know who makes them. But let's get into this. And other, another budget brand, Cobalt. Is that kind of like Lowe's sort of home brand? Don't know. The rubber over moulding's a little bit better. So they were kind of a queer blue colour. But they must sell all right, they've got a big stand. Hey, oh, hang on, we're going German. We're going German. Metabo HTP. I love Metabo stuff. But I'm not, I don't think this is top, the top of the range stuff. I think this is the mid-range stuff. They do a lovely um, multi-tool though. Looks a lot like the Makita one, the head does anyway. Um, nice grinders. And a little sander there. Oh, they've got the um, triple hammer. The old triple hammer. That's quite a cool looking small little item hmm wouldn't mind one of those not a bad metabo stall but like i said i don't think top end
We're gonna have to get out of this place. No Makita products in sight. Not even a, a Makita sticker. No Makita to power tools sold in this store at all. Look, it says there. Look, tool world. Tool world. No Makita. No Makita at all in Lowe's. Never shop at Lowe's. They've got no Makita. What can I say? Load of rubbish. I've had enough. I'm going. Okay, you know, a minute ago I was slagging off Lowe's a little bit of having no Makita stuff. Um, but check this out. It's got. A man's play centre. So it's got the drill and it's got some screws. Look at this. Oh. How exciting is this? Now, things of no um, retailers, if they had this little section in like a clove shop or a perf whatever women buy perfume and all that carry on, um, this would be awesome. The men could go and play off play with the drills and then the women could go and buy the whatever they buy knickers or something I don't know so that would be pretty cool so think on look at this tea a tea junction with I think it's an inch and a half plastic plug that goes in not quite sure why you'd need that one but things of note the socket, the glue sockets are, are shorter than the English ones. See that bit there? On an English tee, the socket would be deeper. But nevertheless, not too bad. Let's carry on. So they're a small, these are more like a two inch, or these are all two inch fittings. Well, that's not two inch. Uh, I don't know. Three inch, of course, it's a three inch coupling. I want to, no. I want to four inch. Now in the UK, um, they have four inch soil pipe, which is actually 110 mil um, outside diameter. I think this is 100 mil. So English poo pipes are 110. American poo pipes are 100 mil. So there you go. What have we learned? Actually, Lowe's has gone up in my estimation even more. They had a downward down because no Makita, and they, then they had a, a men's crash. But let's get involved. Look, they've got a good selection of cones. They've got baby cone, grown-up cone, and massive cone. So I'm stoked. This looks like a good idea. This um, serrated bit here goes into uh, like a plug, a plug drain, as you can see. So you don't have to get the two screwdrivers and ram, in, ram them in to get the waste out. You put this in and then you must put like some kind of extra bit or looks like a socket set onto it to get the drain um, outlet out. So I've not seen them before. I'm dead excited. I think these are called flush plugs or flush washers. In America, they just have these red things on the on the actual chain to empty the cistern into the toilet. Don't have these in the UK. We either have um, siphons or flush valves. As you can see, the actual fill valves or ball valves look similar. But in America, they just have that red thing that flaps up and down. Now then, muckers, this is absolutely brilliant. Absolutely love this. Instead of doing the fancy cuts when you're putting lagging on pipe, you can get a T-piece there. And it has a little sticky bit that you can stick it together. You've got an elbow there. Blow me in heck, that would make my life a lot easier. I've never seen these before. And, yes, I'm dead excited. I'm dead excited about to see these lagging elbows and T's. Absolutely brilliant idea. I might start selling them in the UK.
Looking for a barbecue? Well, you need the Pit Boss Pro. Check it out. It's got three levels there. Multi could get your burgers there. You need more burgers there and more burgers there. And after you've done the burgers, you can shove them on there to tenderize the burgers. Now come to the other end. This is where you put the burgers when the burgers are cooked. Okay. That is the Pro Series. Pit Boss Pro. Only at Lowe's. Apparently this is the plant section. So these green things apparently are called plants. And then what you do is you buy them, take them home and they look good for a few days and then you forget to feed them apparently and then they die. That's it. The plant section at Lowe's. Okay, goodbye to Lowe's. It was okay. That's all I'm saying. But I've got a treat. It's a little radiator key. This is a funny one, isn't it, this one? Because it's got this um, little bit there as a normal one, and this back side, it's got like a little slot. So if you had your air vent to mean with a slot, you could do it that way. So there we go. That cost um, $3. Okay. Bye-bye, Lowe's.